Hello boys and girls, it's me, Ellie Diamond from RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 2! Ho ho! No, I think mean, Chris can cut that. <laughs> There is so much to discuss this episode, but first and foremost, I've made it to the finale! Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler! I am so proud of myself to be able to get it this far on Drag Race, and there's so much to discuss. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna shave and prime our face off camera. For primer, I like to use the One Day Moisturizer from uh, Beauty Bay. They had sent this in the package. It had broken, so all I just do is just take it and then just do a little bit, little bit on the face, just like that. Get our face ready for all of the crazy panto makeup that we're gonna be putting on. Okay, so for the first thing we're gonna do is we're just going to map out our um, cut crease where we're gonna be doing our crease. And since for Panto Dames, I want to keep elements of drag in it, but I still want to keep it very life um, cartoonish and very big and open here, like how Panto Dames do their eye makeup. So I'm just gonna map that out just with a brush of whatever I have left on it. And we're just gonna do a big, sort of like um, a Jessica Rabbit cut crease if you were doing Jessica Rabbit. I'm not bad, I'm just drawn that way. So taking the Give Face Cosmetics Flash Palette, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of that black and we're gonna map out some really thin, um, sort of like pencil thin black eyebrows, sort of how Panto Tames do theirs. So we're just gonna take the brush and just do a little. Okay, so next we're gonna be taking our Snazaroo Clown White. This is um, just a cream clown white that's made for clowns, so it works great for this runway. And we're just gonna conceal underneath the eyebrows just to get them nice and white. And then with the product you have on the back of your hand, just smudge that all in there. Cause then we're just gonna blend it out with the Beauty Blender. Okay, so with a damp beauty sponge that I just get from Primark, well, when Primark open, I'm just gonna go in and blend all that white out just to start creating that nice base to then put all the eyeshadow on top of. Okay, so now that we've blended the white out underneath our um, eyebrows, we're gonna go in with the uh, blah, 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 Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. We're just gonna take a like pointed, angled, I have no idea what kind of brush this is, but we're just gonna conceal around the top of the eyebrows as well. That's that mango local talking in it. Mm. Breakfast. Okay, so now that we have the base of the eyes on, we're gonna go in with the rest of the foundation and we're gonna take that same little brush we used before and start doing our highlights. And then with the foundation, just shake it up really good. Put that all over the rest of the face. Well, I don't have the primer stick anymore because they've uh, discontinued them. I know I started with the Primark foundation stick, but uh, times have changed. I'm a real girl now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so taking a damp beauty sponge again, different from the one that we used before with the white because I like to keep the difference of the two. I go in with a sponge again, and we're just gonna blend all this uh, base foundation out and then take the white and then just go in between the two and just blend them together to make a seamless and flawless space. Oh, that hand again, girl. So like the reason why I put so much white down is because I want my highlights to be as white as possible. So like as much as I'm going through and really blending this out and making it, you know, like 
the biggest part of the space. I'll go back in later on with contours and powders and other creams and foundations and stuff to then bring it in a little bit more and create more of that shape and uh, a structure to the face. And now we're gonna take some of that contour color that we use. It's the Primer Foundation Stick in Rich Espresso, and we're just gonna blend that in with the white that we have on the back of our hands and sort of create a grayish, brownish tone to then do our nose contour. Just with the same uh, nude sponge we use for the foundation, we're just gonna go back in and blend that out. Okay, now going in with the contour stick again, we're just gonna do a little bit either side just to start the contour. And I just go in with a big angled fluffy brush and I just like to blend that all out, smudge it about. Someone asked me on my live the other day, they said, oh, what do, why, why do you do little circles, like little round circles and stuff? And um, there's no other reason other than this is round. That's it. Like I just kind of plop it on and hope for the best. And um, it's I, for me, I find it to do a little dot, dot, dot is enough than doing a swipe and a swipe because if you do, do a swipe and a swipe, sometimes it's too much, but you can always, it's easier to add upon than take off, than take, than take, off, than take off. But, this is what we're doing. Now it's funny, I used to do my face a different way, but with um, quarantine and with everything like that, I found that I've gained a little bit of weight in my cheeks here, especially like then here in the jaw. So, um, that is the jaw, no, it's the chin, it's the chin, this is the jaw. Um, so I kind of have to contour a little bit harsher around those areas just to, lighten it up and make sure I'm still looking but pulled back and a little bit snatched and all that good stuff. So before we set the face, we're quickly gonna go in with the KVD um, eyebrow pomade in Satellite Blue. That's a very nice uh, name for that. And we're just gonna map out, um, well, color over the line that we drew before we uh, put our eyebrows on and go a little bit underneath just to put some uh, of the blue color down to start the eyeshadow process. I then take a little bit of that and put it underneath the eye as well. And then with a light translucent powder, baby powder, I'm just gonna set the entire face. Okay, so now that I have powdered my face and it's all looking dusty and crusty, we're gonna go in with some eyeshadow. So the palette that we're gonna be using today is the Beauty Bay Bright Matte Palette. This is literally stunning. It has all the colors that you would need for any sort of drag look, whether it's a nude face, a bright, colorful face of pride, or um, something blue that we're gonna be using today. So I'm just gonna take a little dense brush little dense fluffy brush and we're gonna go in with the shade Pacific Dreams and a little bit of Stormy Night and just start to smoke out the blue that we've created. And this is just to start the blend. Okay, so going in with the more fluffier brush, we're just gonna go in and take it and we're just gonna to start to blend that shadow up a little bit higher. This motion, I'm not um, scrubbing the product in, I'm just more lightly tapping it and uh, blending as I go, um, as I don't really want to move any of the colors around, I just want to blend, <clears throat> burp again, and just start to blend it out and blend it up a little bit higher so there's more shadow on that lid. So let's talk about the elephant in the room and no, I'm not talking about Lord's Cheney's padding. <laughs> <laughs> love lords, love lords. But um, it was a double Shantanis episode. Oh my God, mental. Um, that's quite special to have uh, 
for it to be me as a double shot in Tay, do you know what I mean? Like, um, me and Tay in that lip sync, I literally was like, well, I haven't lip synced yet. She has multiple times. So she's already showcased most of everything that she can do and I haven't. So I really need to showcase what I can do in this lip sync and prove that I, I should stay and I'm there for a reason. I wasn't nervous. That was the thing. I wasn't nervous. Um, Backstage, Lauren was like, are you okay? Like, you, you, you're gonna be lip sync? And I was like, yeah. I was like, I'm ready to lip sync. And I know that's kind of a bad thing to say because you should never really go into it being like, I'm going to be lip syncing. But for me, I was like, girl, I'm going to be lip syncing. That's it, end of. I need to learn these words and get some choreography down to then get the judges to gag. And I think they did. Um, so yeah, it was amazing. And uh, we made it to the top four and we're there for the crowd. Oh, no. no wins, but made it to the finale. Who gives up? <laughs> um, we can bleep that, right? Okay, cool. Okay, so um, after that little bit, I'm just gonna go back in and just start blending the eyeshadow. I'm just gonna add a couple of more colors um, to deepen the crease a little bit more. I'm gonna add that stormy night, smoke it out, and then we'll be back to cut the crease. Okay, so now that I've added the color to my eyeshadow and it's very animated and cartoon-like, we're gonna be taking some uh, Marcilla cleansing water on the back of a Cotton bud. Oh, that's just gone all over my table and all over the makeup. No! Um, we're just going to take some of that, damp the excess off on the back of our hands, and we're going to um, clean up this um, crease because when we go in with the clown white, if I start smudging this on the blue, the blue and the white are going to mix uh, with the powder and the cream, and it's going to create like a mucky gray blue color, which we don't want. So we want that to be a clean, white, precise line. So we're just going to clean up the edges. And then taking a new cotton bud, we're just going to do the other side as well. Looking forward to get them even. And then with the other side of the cotton bud, these are really good. I get them from Asus and it's the big side on this side because it's good to cut up here. And then this little bit underneath is good just to get right up underneath that eye. Oh! Oh my god, I just stabbed myself in the eye! That's so sore. I hate when that happens. Okay, now this looks a bit crazy and it does look a bit weird, but um, we're gonna go in back in with the Snazaru Clown White. Get in all that. Yep, on the back of the hand just to warm the product up and make it really, really slippery. Sometimes um, if I have it nearby, I'll take a blow dryer and I'll um, heat this up a little bit. Um, I don't suggest that if you block your eyebrows, but since I don't have any eyebrows, that's fine because I don't have to worry about them popping through. Um, so I'm just going to conceal my crease and I'll be on to setting it and doing eyeliner. Hello? Yes. Oh, hello there! <laughs> okay, now once the crease is cut, we're just gonna go in with our middle finger and just blend that white out. Just so then there's no clumpy bits of the cream makeup. Okay, now using a palette, uh, Brenda Labu. But is it Labu? How would you pronounce that? It's bouquet. Now using the palette from Brenda LeBeau, who has done a couple of wigs for me, they're absolutely gorgeous. So make sure to go follow her and get some wigs if you want. I'm just gonna take the white powder from that palette and I'm just gonna set my white crease. <laughs> Don't be afraid to pack on this white and get her really set down. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat the process with the white and then powdering it underneath my eye and I'll be right back to do eyeliner. Okay, so now that the under eyes are done, they're dusted and the, uh, the blue is looking gorgeous and royal, I am going to take my KVD tattoo liner and I'm just gonna outline my, uh, not crease, my liner. So I'm gonna go in and do a really po sharp point at the front of my 
eye. My God, pull oh, yourself together! And I'm gonna follow the line of my natural eye shape anyway, just to kind of see, keep that same line. And then with the outer edge, just bring it right up and give it a good, gorgeous wing. Make sure I get them even on both sides. And the reason why I do such a big, heavy black liner is because if I were to do, I have quite hooded eyes. When I open my eyes, they're very quite hooded. They're hooded more here and they open up a bit more on the ends. Um, but if I were to do like a little small liner and just sort of keep it in this space, when I open my eyes and when you put the lashes on, you won't even see the liner at all. So I need to cover my entire lid and create that space that I would put normally there all the way up here because it opens my eyes up and makes them a lot more big and brighter and it keeps in with the cartoon aesthetic that I go for. So that's why I do that. Uh, I'm gonna take a little bit more of this black and we're just gonna do it underneath. Put a little line underneath there for when I do my bottom eyelashes as something to conceal. Uh, and then really quickly, just before I go on, I'm gonna take some more of that Stormy Night Shadow, set that black underneath my eye and smoke it out a little bit more. Take a little bit of a black as well, actually. And it just helps further blend that line out on the bottom. Um, and then with the tattoo liner, I'm just gonna go in and fill in the front of the eye and it's okay if you completely mess up on the inner portions because we can fix that with an eye a white eyeliner. So now I'm gonna go in with a collection eyeliner. Um, it's like really cheap, it's like two pounds something from Boots. And I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna set my entire crease with the black liner. And now since that's all black, I just need to set it. So I'm gonna take one of my fans, available at dragmerch.net, and I'm just gonna set that black, and then I'm gonna go in and set it with a black eyeshadow after. Now going in with just a little small brush, we're gonna take some black eyeshadow from the Beauty Bay palette, and we're just gonna set this eyeliner. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eyeliner off camera and I'm gonna dust off my base powder and we're gonna go in with highlighting and contouring with powders next. Okay, so now that we have finished the other eye, I have dusted my um, powder that I done to set my face. We're gonna go in with some powdered contour. So I'm first gonna be taking the KVD uh, powder foundation in Rich Deep. And we're just gonna be doing a little bit of that just to bring some more warmth into the face and uh, bring a little bit more to life. And I just like to put this in the temples and on the cheeks. And you see how like this cheek here and this cheek here is just like, it's just the tiny, ti it takes the tiniest bit to make all the difference. And then running this under my chins, plural. We're just gonna Blend that down the neck as well. And now with the Give Face Visage palette, I'm gonna be taking a mix of these two colors on the end here, just on a little Give Face brush. Uh, and I'm just gonna deepen the contours. And then with the Schnoz, <sighs> taking the lightest shade of the contour, we're just gonna go down the edges of our nose just to create uh, some more color there as well. Don't want to see any H&M. And then with the medium tone, we're just gonna cut right underneath here, add a little bit of the darker color, just to sort of create a little bit of a pushing 
motion. Okay, now a big part of the makeup for the show was definitely the um, rosy cheeks. That is pretty much what Pantos do. Like they always have big red rosy cheeks. But um, for this for me, I took inspiration from my friend Anne and she used to do like uh, really rosy cheeks, a little uh, love heart on there. So that's what I'm gonna do for today's video. And I'm gonna be taking the eyebrow pomade from KVD and just taking a little bit of that on my finger. Smiling just to see where the cheeks will be. I'm plopping a little bit. And then just with our finger, we're just going to blend that out. So taking just a fluffy brush and we're gonna go in with Hot Stuff from the Beauty Bay palette. This palette is literally like, I will not never stop talking about it because it's so fabulous. And I'm just gonna go in and we're just gonna start smoking out that red. like that and then we're going to take a fluffy brush make sure there's nothing on it that might have came on it and we're going to just pinch the brush like that to pick up some of the uh, hot stuff so it's like that tap off any of the excess and then we're just going to lightly tap this on our cheeks in a circular motion just to give it a further blend and this doesn't have to be perfect i mean it would be great if it does but it doesn't have to be it's panto Sorry to all the panto dames out there. You're not perfect. You're not beautiful. You don't look like Linda Evangelista. Shaky bitch. And then taking back that small brush and just whatever we have left on it, just blushing the tip of the nose. I'm then going to take that same brush and go back into the Visage palette from Give Face and mix these two peach and coral tones together. And we're just going to put that at the very, very top of the contours just to add a bit more life and dimension into those areas. So we're going to go back in with the Beauty Bay palette and we're just going to fill in our eyebrows. You know what? Let me get a little... I'm still waiting for my monster sponsorship. I need a diamond, uh, a diamond monster. Just tastes like... <laughs> uh, right, so now we're going to go in to do the lips. So we're going to go in with a, I can't remember what it's from, Get Face Lip Liner, and we're going to outline our lips in a love heart shape. So follow along. So we just took some of the clown white just to conceal around these edges and we're going to go back in with the same brush that we have used to conceal on the top of the eyebrows and just blend that out. Okay, now going in with a liquid lipstick. This is uh, Cherry from The Revolution. We're just going to uh, fill in these lips. Okay, so now that the face is pretty much complete, I'm gonna go in and do some finishing details as in the little stones on the cheeks as well as on the lips. So for that, we're gonna be using some gorgeous Prosade. I spilt this bottle the other day so I'll let you have nothing left. But we're gonna just dip our cotton bud back in here and we're gonna start painting that on the top half of the lips. And uh, with this makeup, it's a commitment to do these lips. So um, if you're gonna do them, commit to it and it'll look gorgeous in the end. So I'm just gonna take out, I'm just gonna scatter these stones about the lips, just how you would a costume, really. Just like that. And then we're gonna go back in with the cheeks, do a little dollop there, a little dollop there. Blend that out a little bit with my finger. And then I'm sort of doing a little Mickey Mouse shape with them. 
So a big one and then two smaller ones either side. Okay, so now that is the face pretty much complete, I'm gonna do my other rhinestones under my eyes and my nose, put on my lashes, and I'll be back with the finished look. And this is the finished look for my take of the Panto Dame runway. This episode was so much fun to film because we'd done the Beast Enders challenge and when I was when we were assigning the parts and everything, I thought Thought Bottom was gonna be like a like a slutty like young character. So I was like, oh, I'll pick that one. And they were like, oh no, 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 you're gonna be old, like an old lady. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Didn't realize that, but I thought it was quite funny. I thought I'd done a good job, you know, being the youngest one that's on the team, playing the oldest lady was kind of a funny, is it double entendre? Yeah, is that how you'd say it? Yeah. It was sort of like a funny double entendre playing, being so young, playing the oldest. And who would have thought that me and Tace would be the first two queens to get a double chante on RuPaul's Drag Race UK? Ah, it's mental, but we did it and we've made it through to the finale. So make sure to tune in next week for the finale. Hair for this runway, I done myself. The crown is from, I think it's just Amazon with a couple of stones on top. The nails are by Lunar Nails. The costume I had borrowed from Utopia Costumes in Dundee. And all the jewelry from the earrings to the ring to the necklace is dragged out London. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to follow me on all my social medias, it'll be linked at the top of the description make sure to subscribe to me on YouTube and I'll see you on the next Adult Up With Diamond. Bye! Are we fucking ready? Okay. Serious for serious drag queens. Are we on? Okay. And this is the finish- wait I need to think- we'll pause it. Breakfast.